Hey, what's happening? Tony Lane, I'm back. You look at these pictures right here, all these fish were caught on the Cinco. If you follow me on social media, I've been posting these pictures and just having a good time out here in Lake Havasu catching these Cinco fish. I uh, had a few questions, so I decided I'm going to go ahead and make a video and talk about it. Here's a nice fish, of course, on the Cinco. Take a look at the background. What do you see? You see tulies, you see shade. Uh, the water in this area is approximately four feet at its deepest point, but it doesn't matter. Lake Havasu, I've caught fish on Cinco's just like this in the shade and 10 inches of water. You know, uh, important. You gotta just pull up on these spots and be as quiet as you can and try to make these long casts and uh, you catch these fish. Something that's important though, uh, a lot of people don't have it, but I'm fortunate and I do, power poles. As you can see, you know, I'm fighting this fish. I don't want to scoop the spot with my trolling motor. Tap, tap, power poles down. Put this fish in the boat and uh, this same tule patch, you know, catch a few more out of it. In a little bit, I'm going to talk about uh, rod and reel combos, line and stuff like that, uh, the gear that I use. Um, but the most important thing is deep tulies with shade and this bite uh, happens. I've done this at the Delta. I've done it at Clear Lake this year. I uh, had a couple of changes though in my tackle. I was the guy that used to just throw 14 to 16 pound test fluorocarbon all the time, and it worked. I caught a lot of fish doing that. Uh, but recently, after seeing some of uh, my fellow pros at uh, the Delta and Clear Lake, I made a change, and it was a change for the better, and I'm gonna share that with you. Let's talk about the rod. The rod that I like is a seven foot four Daiwa Tatula Elite Series rod. Ish Monroe designed this rod to be a, a frog rod. Uh, it's a great heavy cover, Cinco rod as well. Uh, the reel is real important. Uh, I choose a Steez from Daiwa and it's super fast. Uh, the gear ratio is 8 to 1 and that's important because all you're doing with this Cinco, you're making a cast to a tule point, to a cut in the tulies or the shade and you're drilling that thing in uh, as, as soon as it hits the bottom nothing happens, you drill it in, fire to the next spot. You saw the uh, photo a minute ago, 5 inch Cinco with a 4 and a, uh, four out hook that's weedless, Texas rig. A lot of times you're throwing out these toolies, if you don't have your single skin hook, it's gonna snag the toolie every cast. So a lot of times you wanna get it in those pockets and don't have to worry about getting snagged. So you just Texas rig it. Again, you're only fishing in four foot of water. Most of the time they're gonna hit that thing uh, while it's falling. Just had a, uh, a photo of some braid. I choose the Daiwa J braid. On this particular day, I was using 40 pound test J braid with a 20 pound test fluorocarbon leader. Yes, I said it. Mr. Finesse from Southern California, now that I live in Lake Havasu, uh, I use Grow Man Tackle now because I can get away with it. I like the 40 pound test J braid in the Sartreuse color, and I'll tell you why. Because J braid, like most braids, uh, they float. You know, the braid's floating on top of the water, and if you got a high visibility braid with a leader, uh, the fish don't never see the braid, you know, you got a four foot to five foot fluorocarbon leader and as that's falling in front of the toolies or into the toolies, the only person that can see that fluorescent braid is you. And as soon as you get a bite, that line's going to jump and you're going to know it and you reel down and you set the hook. You know, braid also is an excellent choice when you're trying to make long casts. You don't got to worry about uh, too much backlash and a bird nesting or anything like that when you got a spin a reel. Uh, or even on a baitcaster reel, it, it's a better choice in my opinion. It doesn't stretch, you know, you set the hook on the long cast, it's in the top of the head every single time. So those are the key components, you know, uh, heavy rod, fast reel, braid with a fluorocarbon leader, and just go out there, power pole down and have some fun. Fisty shade, shady reeds, you know, the, the, the deep toolies with the shade are money at Lake Havasu. So if you got any questions, hit me up on social media like you always do and uh, we'll talk about it or I'll put a video out, teamlinkfishing.com. Take care.